Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. This is the second part of a two-part video looking at how to use the Avogadro constant. In the last video, we saw that we can use the Avogadro constant to calculate the number of atoms in a sample of an element. In this video, we're going to take the ideas a step further. Here's a question for you. Calculate the number of ammonia molecules in 119 grams of ammonia. Using your answer, calculate the number of atoms in 119 grams of ammonia. Now, I'd like you to try this question and see how far you get. You should be able to do at least the first part. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, looking at the first part of the question, the first thing we need to do is work out the amount in moles of ammonia. And to do that, we need to calculate the molar mass. We're given the formula of ammonia and the relative atomic masses of nitrogen and hydrogen. From these, we can see that the molar mass of ammonia is 17.0 grams per mole. So now we can use this to calculate the amount of ammonia in moles. To do that, we divide the mass by the molar mass. Dividing 119 by 17.0 gives us 7 moles of ammonia. OK, at this stage we can now calculate the number of molecules of ammonia. And to do that, we multiply the amount in moles by the Avogadro constant. This gives us a value of 4.21 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules of ammonia. OK, now hopefully you got to that stage. The second part of the question asks us to calculate the number of atoms in 119 grams of ammonia. Now to answer this, we need to look at the formula for ammonia. As you can see, the ammonia molecule contains one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. In other words, four atoms in total. So to calculate the total number of atoms in 119 grams of ammonia, we need to multiply the number of molecules of ammonia by 4. This gives us a final answer of 1.68 times 10 to the power of 25 atoms. Coming up, I'm going to give you one more question to try yourself. OK, here's a final question for you. Calculate the number of electrons in 98.9 grams of sodium. And to help, I've given you the symbol for sodium from the periodic table. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to calculate the amount of sodium in moles. To do this, we divide the mass by the molar mass. The molar mass of sodium is 23.0 grams per mole. Dividing 98.9 by 23.0 gives us 4.3 moles of sodium. To work out the number of atoms, we multiply the amount in moles by the Avogadro constant. And this gives us a value of 2.59 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. And I've rounded this number for the purposes of this video, but in the exam you don't round until the end. OK, so now we know the number of sodium atoms. But the question asks for the number of electrons. Looking at the symbol for sodium, we can see that the atomic number is 11. From this, we know that uncharged sodium atoms contain 11 electrons. So in the final stage, we need to multiply the number of atoms by 11. And this gives us a final answer of 2.85 times 10 to the power of 25 electrons. OK, so hopefully now you can use the Avogadro constant to carry out calculations in chemistry. 